everyone and welcome to Candy Lives a Life. And um, this is another crazy hot day. And uh, today uh, we decided to go on a tour of Brunei. This has been a long time coming. And finally I get to see this beautiful country. So we're going to see the major landmarks. So I'm kind of excited to take a lot of videos and to learn a lot about the history and uh, to see the various beautiful elements. Elements? Elements. Okay, whatever. I guess it's going to be elements of this country. And hop on for the ride. The first 15 to 20 minutes of the tour was to drive around the city center and to look at some of the important monuments in Brunei to get us familiar with the history of Brunei and the people. And it was very informative and uh, very enriching to hear before we ended up to one of the main things on our schedule which was the water village. And this by the way is the Queen's Bridge that we are riding on. So we just started our tour. And here is my mom sporting her fashion. So we took a tour, I think like 15, 20 minute tour around the city. And this is the water village. We are going to, we are going to go into the water village. Yeah, we're going to the water village. And this is our tour guide. And uh, sorry, I didn't catch. Yeah, Aziz. Aziz. Aziz, this is Aziz. <laughs> So we are going to go on a boat ride and uh, actually what we passed was a famous restaurant it seems. Wow, look at that. And that over there is actually the Queen's Bridge. Oh my goodness. Rickety looking thing. And our boat has arrived. The river boat tour is a definite must if you're visiting Brunei because not only is it a way to get some fresh air but it gives you a wonderful perspective of the various landmarks from traveling up the river and it was a great great experience overall and round the corner the white building in the distance is actually the Istana Nurul Iman where the royal family resides. Right? Yeah, yeah. Eyes are open. No, it's okay. Like, look how okay. close mommy is. I think we're okay. We can give him a rest. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. The mangrove forests are a vital part of Brunei's ecosystem, and these forests are not found in many places around the world. They're able to survive in salt water, they protect the land against tsunamis and coastal erosions they're able to purify the water, which makes them very, very important and unique. The other species that is only found in the Borneo Islands is the proboscis monkeys. You can see the one right here. And I've added a picture for reference because it's not clear, but they have these bulbous noses. The next was a tour of Kampong Ayer, which is also literally translated to Water Village. The Bruneians have been living like this for many, many years, where the houses have been built on the water. And it's great to see that this culture, this part of this culture and the heritage of Brunei has been preserved. And interestingly, they have a school, hospital, police station right on the water. We came at the right time because the kids were just coming out of school and instead of school buses, they have school boats. So we just had our boat ride. We're stopping for some coffee and tea and a bit of shade. So pretty much it's, it's very unique to see. Mm -hmm. to see. Actually, this was our boatman's house. So they had invited us for some tea and snacks, which were really, really nice. And uh, you know, the generous side of Brunei people. And uh, you know, I think from the, everything that we've seen, this is the water village, right? Where people live here and uh, they preserve their tradition. some local Brunei food. We've come to a very popular place, one of the houses that was turned into a restaurant and uh, well known for their seafood. So we're going to eat 
and take a little rest before we continue on. This is like a fish uh, with yeah. onion. No, uh, no. No, th that is a little shrimp. Shrimp, okay. Mm -hmm. Fish on a bed of shrimp, mm -hmm. beef, vegetable, mm -hmm. and that one is a spicy pickle. Spicy and fish. Oh, spicy fish. Yeah. And that one is, this is the um, ambuya. Ambuya, yes. okay. And that is also fish? Uh, this is a shrimp. Okay, uh, shrimp. No, not shrimp, prawn. Prawn. Uh, this is a butter prawn. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Okay. Just take a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Take a little bit like this. Okay. Just nice, not too much. Not okay. Too take the mango piece. Okay. And then just swallow it. And just swallow it. So this is what the consistency <laughs> looks like. It's actually from a tree, which is very interesting. And it's dipped, yeah. from a, dipped in this mango sauce. Yeah. It's like sour. It reminds me of mochi. So this is a butter shrimp. And the filament is, I guess, the hairy yellow thing is actually egg floss. Couldn't finish the tender coconut, <laughs> so I had to take it from the restaurant. I call it the well of deep, <laughs> eternal youth, <laughs> never ending. <laughs> you keep drinking, you keep drinking, and it keeps filling. Oh well. And we are going to the energy center of Brunei. I'm looking. An interesting thing about Brunei is its development and its uh, what is it progress has been heavily dependent on the discovery of oil and we are done with the energy center and uh, it was so interesting to learn about where Brunei was before and where Brunei is at the present and after and um, how oil was discovered it was actually discovered by a British oil company and then afterwards it took off and uh, actually the discovery of oil in Brunei has helped the people in so many ways in the museum you see my mommy kicking her legs <laughs> this is a young portrait of the 29th king of the current king as well so a very interesting part of Brunei history is very similar to India they were colonized by the British a life-size what would you call this replica an actual life-size of the coronation procession of the king, I believe. So a little bit more about the history of Brunei is that it has 29 kings. The current king is the 29th king, which is quite amazing. And he lives with the royal family in the palace, which is also uh, open to the public i think our guide was saying it's open to the public in 50 days i think it was closed down because uh, of the covid season otherwise they have times that they allow people to come in and uh, look at the palace look at this interactive puzzle session what is the purpose of this you think oh another piece another one bites the dust I 
at Cafe by the to have some really good coffee. And our chocolate, a tuna puff, and vanilla raspberry. It's like a crunchy. So this is the vanilla raspberry. <laughs> So recently there was a royal wedding and this is the place that made the cake for them. So remember Cafe by Dill in Brunei. Must visit. Very, very beautiful cake. This is the University of Brunei Darussalam campus. And our guide actually brought us here. It was so nice of him to show us the botanical. Oh, 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 oh. The national okay. flower of Brunei, which is simple. That's the one right there. It was such a privilege to be taken around this facility on the UBD campus by two young, brilliant minds. They had so much knowledge about the plants, about the rocks, and also about the land itself. And it made me wonder that we oftentimes forget the history that our land bears, the natural habitat that have carried humankind through centuries. So it was wonderful to learn about the plants and the various species that were indigenous to Brunei itself. So this is one of the luxurious hotels in Brunei called the Empire and we're going to watch the sunset here. It seems it's really beautiful. <laughs> so this is the Empire Hotel, we're at the lobby and look at that chandelier, it's insane. And this was the first day of touring Brunei. It was an eventful day. Some things planned, some things unplanned. Like the University of Brunei tour, the botanical uh, garden. That was actually uh, something that wasn't part of the plan. And uh, so yeah, that's it for today. And this is Kendi. This is life.